everyone. I know it's been a couple weeks since I have posted a video for you guys. I've just been enjoying summer with my real ponies and I feel really bad because I never cleaned up after filming my last video and I've just kind of gotten a little bit bored with the layout of my staple right now. So this afternoon we're going to clean this all off and I'm going to set up a new stable layout. I have an idea and I hope it works. I'm going to move all of the accessories and ponies over here on my bed. everyone here's the big change I've never put my barn like this before ever on this table and I'm really excited about it because I can sit back here in my chair and film from this angle I've never did it before because it kind of makes for paddocks squished up against the wall and on this side there won't be any paddocks but I think I can make it work I'm also having a delicious fig bar with tea even though it's so hot out this is how I have arranged the paddocks. This one over here connects to the barn and it's pretty large. And this one here was the riding arena, but I took off all the letters for the dressage court just because I kind of want it to look more like a paddock right now, but we're still gonna use it for an arena. But I always try to do like two separate paddocks, one for the mares and one for the stallions. Now we need to dust because <laughs> that hasn't been done in a while. better now of course it's still kind of wet this roof is very hard to clean all the little dust and dirt just gets packed in these cracks and then I can't get it out but I'll dust it down now I'm going to set everything back up because this is pretty much like the big things I have to put up or it's just the barn and the paddocks so now I'm gonna put all this accessories back up and we'll do a little barn tour. All right, I am finished. I really like it all freshened up and I'm going to give you a little tour. First off, out in front of the barn is this little picnic seating area with a shade umbrella. I like this and I think the riders are gonna really like this. They can get out of the sun. On this side of the barn, there's a little walkway before you drop off, <laughs> but really, there's just a little walkway here. And in the barn, we have King and Jock and Kipper and, of course, Chester the Hobby Horse. Inside the barn, getting a groom is Tilta and Jenny is doing the grooming. Inside the stable is Sky and Spots, Bucca and little... Um, I think I had named her Buttercup, but she's laying down in the stall. I don't really want to take the roof off the barn because I kind of like just how cozy it makes it feel inside, but the little foals in there. And then we have our boys once again on this side, and there's a whole bunch of feed stacked in the aisle of the barn, so hopefully no horses get out. And some tools on this side. There's a little bunny rabbit hiding over here on the edge of the paddock. I do not remember what I named this pony. I will have to look back and see, but she's very pretty and she's enjoying paddock time. And we have Spike and Violet and Firecracker. And then there's just some halters on this fence post. On this side of the barn, there's just a wheelbarrow for cleaning up and some decorations. Here we have Emily and she is riding Pearl, but Pearl is distracted with her friend Violet. And back here, I decided to put the wash rack. So there's just a whole bunch of shampoo and like just washing things and a little squirrel exploring. So that's our new spot for that. Out in our second large paddock, we have Clyde, Silver, and Fireball. And here's our haystack. I suppose it's kind of unrealistic having this here because in real life, horses would just go nom nom nom. <laughs> That's what mine did <laughs> when it was too close to the fence and we even had it out a little ways, but it just stacks better and doesn't all fall down. So this is where the pretend bells of hay are gonna go. And we have our barn cat. And lastly, we have Teresa riding Bella. And this is like our trail that goes off into the forest where you can go trail ride. Here, this is my second Schleich table. It's a little smaller. This is where Teresa lives. 
yes, she has a whole table to herself for all of her things. <laughs> we have the house, the little stable where Teresa has her Shetland ponies, and there's just a whole bunch of barn accessories on the side of the barn. And we also have their trailer and Teresa's Jeep, and we have the tack shop. I didn't change anything on this table today. I just tidied up a bunch and made it look nice in the tack shop. It is super busy today. They must be having a sale because everyone is in the tack shop. Because everyone is at the tack shop. Someone even rode their pony here. So that is what I've accomplished. I do have a story idea for a Schleich little movie, but I have to film it outside and it's really hard out today, so I wasn't going to do that. So we got this done instead and we freshened up Silver Star Stables. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!